Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video I want to talk about one of the most beautiful and poetic 35mm lens that is available in the market if you can find it and I'm talking about the Leica R Summicrum 35mm f2 Sadly this lens is getting more difficult to find day by day because Leica made around 30,000, a bit less than 30,000 units between the 1977 until 2006 I believe and uh, yeah so there are not so many units uh, in the planet and uh, probably we are more filmmakers and photographers that desire this lens so it is pretty simple to understand why this lens is uh, pretty rare and the other downside regarding the rarity of this lens is about the price because this lens is getting uh, extremely expensive for example right now this lens is going uh, for a price range between 1500 euros and 2500 euros according to the shape of the lens and if it's uh, cinemoded or not but for example last year I bought uh, two of these lenses for only 500 euros so as we can see it's getting more expensive uh, year by year and nobody knows what's gonna be the price in the future hopefully it's gonna stay with this range of price because uh, this lens is really beautiful and it's a pity if this lens is gonna be just a uh, a niche product for us filmmakers or photographer. It took me a while to make this video because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to make uh, this video about this lens because this lens has already a lot of hype and everybody is looking for this lens and considering that the prices are going uh, really high and uh, yeah the availability of this lens is not that much I wasn't sure if I wanted to make this video but at the end I decided to make it anyway because this video can be helpful if someone is really passionate and in love with Leica lenses and yeah in this video I just want to share the love that I have about this lens and uh, why I'm not gonna ever sell this lens. So talking about the lens, wide open at f2 we have great sharpness in the whole frame except for the corners. This is happening because the lens is very well corrected for distortion so the plane of focus in the corners is far away from the center point and this creates a beautiful swirly bokeh around the edges this corner sharpness problem can be a problem for landscape photographers or astrophotographers because if you set your lens at infinity even if you're gonna stop down the lens to f8 or f11 this lens is not gonna be sharp in the corners the quality of the bokeh is uh, really beautiful I find it superlative there are no onion rings, there are no much aspherical aberration and uh, if you stop down you're gonna have an hexagonal shape bokeh because this lens has only six aperture blades. That is not a real problem if you're shooting uh, portraits but if you're planning to use this lens for landscape photography you're not gonna get great sun stars. The flares produced by this lens are warm and beautiful but there is a drop in contrast if you frame a strong source of light in your frame. The built-in lens hood can help to reduce this loss of contrast but if you're using this lens for video I highly recommend you to use it with a matte box because uh, it is pretty easy to destroy your footage if you're not careful with uh, every source of light you have in your frame. The rendering of the images are extremely beautiful, they are sharp but at the same time also organic and creamy. That's why I really love this lens and uh, it can produce really outstanding images. And don't forget about the focus throw because the focus throw with this lens is extremely long, around 170, 220, 270 degrees. Uh, it is like uh, more than double than that size classic that I have. So this is my go-to lens if I have to film videos or if I need to create some uh, poetic uh, and artistic portraits that they want to communicate some emotions. The bokeh with this lens is extremely beautiful. It's not that extreme like you would have it with a 35mm uh, f1.2 or f1.4 but because this lens is an f2 lens design there is a lot of contrast in the plane of focus so this lens produce an extremely beautiful 3d rendering in your images and that's in my opinion more important than having a obliterated background that doesn't tell anything about the story so i much prefer to have a lens that has a nice 3d separation than an extremely blurry background and that's why i love f2 lenses in general because they tend to have this characteristic now talking about the price is it worth to spend such a big amount of money for this old lens that is almost 50 years old 
that's up to you i mean if you have uh, many lenses of the like a, a lineup then yes it would make sense but in my opinion there are many vintage lenses that are pretty amazing and uh, you have to consider the problem that if you want to start to build a set of lenses like the Leica R lenses you're gonna spend a lot of money while in reality there are lenses out there that are pretty close to the Leica R and they are still affordable. Another important aspect of this Leica R 35mm f2 is about the color rendering. For example this one is a little bit on the green side but it is pretty modern it's a serial number 31 and I have another one that is serial number 29 uh, they are different for example this one is more on the green side while the 29 serial number is more on the neutral uh, white balance so it is totally random to have a lens that is perfectly matching with your set of lenses you probably know about it but like if you're new and you don't know anything about like our lenses be prepared to buy more of these lenses to create a perfect matched set of lenses and this is going to be extremely difficult with like our lenses so in my opinion if you don't have like our lenses and you don't want to deal with this uh, headache of the like our curse i highly recommend you to consider the zeiss classic because they have pretty much similar rendering and characteristic you can just snap a diffusion filter on top of your Zeiss Classic lenses and you're gonna have a great value for money lenses so this is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned because soon I will make a video about the 90mm f2 and the 50mm f2 and then I finish the Leica R lenses because I have only a kit of 5 lenses that is good enough for pretty much all the applications I want to work with so Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!